warm-ups are a great way to kick off a workout and to prevent injuries. This is a great exercise to get your calves warmed up for your workout. Start by lifting your heels off the ground by pushing from the balls of your feet. Pause for a second and then slowly lower your heels back to the ground. You should feel a slight stretch in the back of your lower leg. Make sure your toes are pointed forward for this exercise. Keep your chest up and shoulders pulled back. Rainbow squats are a great exercise to get a dynamic stretch for your inner thighs. Lower into a squat to the right so that your right thigh is almost parallel to the ground and your trailing leg is fairly straight. Stand up back to center and repeat for the left side. As you lower into your squat, your knee should not move outside of your toes. Don't lean forward too much. You should only have a slight lean forward. Keep your chest up and shoulders pulled back. Windmills are a terrific full body warm up exercise. Focus on your hamstrings, the muscle group in the back of your thighs, and always work within your own range of motion. Begin the movement by rotating your torso. Keep your hands in line with your shoulders. Pause and hinge back at your hips. Reach your right hand down toward your left foot and look up at your left hand. Reverse the direction and reach your left hand towards your right foot. Breathe normally to deliver oxygen to your muscles. You can always pause the workout and do more reps if you feel you need to. Push your tailbone back as you hinge at your hips. Do not flop forward at your waist. Reach only as far as you are comfortable. Do not overstretch. You should feel this in your hamstrings and lower back. Breathe normally to deliver oxygen to your muscles. The good morning exercise is a great full body warm up. Start by sitting back into a squat by sinking your hips and bending at your ankles and knees. Reach down and grab the insides of your feet and remember to keep that chest up. As you grab your feet, lift your glutes up by extending your knees. Now stand up and with your hands together, reach above your head with your arms and push your hips forward to stretch your abs and shoulders. When you reach above your head, look up at your hands to get a full range of motion. Remember to exhale as you move through the range of motion. Don't go too fast. We're just warming up here. You should feel this exercise in the muscles in the back of your legs and in your abs. Keep your chest.
When you reach above your head, look up at your hands to get a full range of motion. Remember to exhale as you move through the range of motion. Don't go too fast. We're just warming up here. You should feel this exercise in the muscles in the back of your legs and in your abs. Time to move from warm-ups to the workout. Let's go. Circuit run. Running is a great way to get the heart rate going, which will help you get ready for any sport. When it's time to run, start running in place. Remember to pump your arms while you're running to help burn off more calories. Be ready to change it up and perform high knees or kick-ups during the run. To perform high knees, drive your knees upwards alternating between your left and right leg. To perform kick-ups, drive your heels back towards your buttocks every time you lift your legs. Make sure to give it your best effort on the run as this will help you succeed in any sports activities that you take on. Let's do high knees. High knees now. Focus on landing softly on your feet with each step. Remember to keep your shoulders relaxed and your back straight as you run. Try to keep focused on your breathing while you're running. Nice work on really moving and getting active on that lap. Circuit run. Running is a great way to get the heart rate going, which will help you get ready for any sport. When it's time to run, start running in place. Remember to pump your arms while you're running to help burn off more calories. Be ready to change it up and perform high knees or kickups during the run. To perform high knees, drive your knees upwards alternating between your left and right leg. Let's do fast kickups. Let's do fast kickups. Make sure you pump your arms to help burn off more calories. Focus on landing softly on your feet with each step. Remember to keep your shoulders relaxed and your back straight as you run. Try to keep focused on your breathing while you're running. Let's see some more hustle out there. You can do it. Way to go. You did great on setting a solid pace from start to finish. Time to move. When the exercise starts, remember to keep your heels off the ground and use only the balls of your feet. You've hit the perfect pace. Keep this up. You are performing at the maximum pace. Awesome. Good effort on that exercise. Way to work it. Split squats. Start this exercise with the resistance band under the arch of your left foot. 
hold the handles of the band in each hand. Reach back with your right leg and position your foot so your back heel is off the ground. Put your hands beside your shoulders with your palms facing forward. The band should be touching the back of your arms. Now lower into a split squat, keeping your chest up and your back straight. Try your best to have 90 degree bends in both your front and back knee. Now stand back up by pushing the floor away from you and keeping your back heel off the ground. Repeat the sequence for the prescribed number of reps, then change legs. Let's get ready to burn off some calories and work it. And squat down. Stand up. Only your best here. Now, squat down. And stand. Open your chest and keep your hands on the outside of your shoulders. Now, stand. Squat down. Stand up. And squat down. And stand. Now, squat down. This is a great foundational exercise that incorporates a little balance. Squat down. Now, stand. And squat down. Stand up. Keep your back heel off the ground to shift weight to your front leg. Now, squat down. And stand. Go for it. Squat down. Now, stand. And squat down. Think about maintaining a straight line through your head, shoulders, and hips. Now, squat down. Stand up. Step it up. Squat down. And stand. Try and lower down until your front leg is parallel to the ground. Now, stand. And squat down. Stand up. Now, squat down. And stand. You've definitely earned a water break. Get a drink and let's get back into the workout. Circuit run. Running is a great way to get the heart rate going, which will help you get ready for any sport. When it's time to run, start running in place. Remember to pump your arms while you're running to help burn off more calories. Be ready to change it up and perform high knees or kickups during the run. To perform high knees, drive your knees upwards alternating between your left and right leg. To perform kickups, drive your heels back towards your buttocks every time you lift your legs. Time to run and work it. Drive your knees to maximize your workout. Run fast now. Drive your knees to maximize your workout. Make sure you pump your arms to help burn off more calories. Nice work on really moving and getting active on that lap. Push-ups from knees. Begin from the kneeling position. Now place your hands on the floor in front of you so that they are slightly wider than shoulder width. Your shoulders should be in line with your hands and your fingers pointed forward. Bend your knees and lift your feet off the floor. Push your hips forward so that your knees, hips and shoulders form a straight line. Now brace your abdominals. 
and slowly lower into a push-up leading with your chest, not your head. Once your elbows reach a 90 degree angle, reverse the motion and straighten your arms, pushing yourself up as if you are pushing the floor away from you. Repeat this sequence for the prescribed number of reps. Let's focus on breathing right on each rep. Breathe in when you lower down and breathe out when you push up. Down and up. Down and up. Burn those calories. Down and up. Down and up. Four. Three. You can do it. Two. One. Good effort on that exercise. Way to work it. Let's see you start strong and finish strong. Let's do it. Push hard all the way to the end of the set. This is an amazing pace that you're setting for yourself. Try to land in the same spot with each jump. Way to work it. Keep up that intensity on everything you do today. Let's see some hard work here on this exercise. You should feel it working out the back of your upper arm. Now lift and extend. Look at the on-screen tips for specific help with this exercise. Lower down slowly. Lift up and extend. Let's try and keep that back flat at all times. And down. There you go. And down with control. Down with control. Now lift and extend. Now down. Keep going. Down. This is a great exercise that works your arms, as well as postural muscles in your back, if done correctly. Lift up and extend. And control down. You're one step closer to your goals with every exercise you complete. Soccer goalkeeper. The ball will be coming at you in one of four directions, so you need to